Today we're going to be learning about plate tectonics, how they work, and the impact they have concerning life on Earth. First, we'll start by discussing the layers of Earth, of which there are four. The outermost layer is known as the crust. This is the Earth on which we stand. This layer is actually only about 10 miles deep and consists of many different types of rocks. It is the outermost part of the Earth. The second layer moving in is known as the mantle. This layer is about 1,800 miles deep. This rock is very hot and actually somewhat liquid due to the differences in the pressure and temperature from the crust to the mantle and then concerning the innermost layers is actually created this molten um, rock that actually circulates on while it's in motion, and has been doing so for millions of years. The next layer of the Earth is known as the outer core. It extends for, only, for about 3,200 miles. This layer is important as it impacts Earth's magnetic field, which will be part of another lesson. The next layer is known as the inner core. The inner core is basically a solid amount of rock with a radius of about 760 miles. So now that we know about the layers of the Earth, we can dive into plate tectonics. So the upper part of the Earth, known as the crust, is divided into seven or eight greater sections. So we'll do that for the sake of our lesson. Uh, this is actually known as the lithosphere. So um, there's like when these lithosphere, like when the sections come together, it actually creates um, boundaries, of which there are about three different types that we're going to discuss. The first type of boundary is known as convergent. This is when the plates are moving toward each other. This actually is what you're going to get in result in. Um, mountains because after enough time of pressure and they build up and fold and crack on each other and that's how you're going to get mountains. It's going to take you know, thousands and millions of years for everything to get as huge as they can be. Um, and actually due to the magma in the center layer in the mantle, if it ends up being right where the volcano is formed, it has the potential to have a volcano, not a mountain. Um, so the next type of layer we have are divergent. And this is when the plates are moving away from each other. This occurs generally in uh, underwater and is known as sea floor spreading. It actually has the potential to create these valleys with volcanic volcanic power underneath, so lava has the potential to fill up and come out into the ocean. And that's how you get those really deep hot pockets within the ocean. The third type of boundary is known as transform. This is when they're moving against and away from each other. The most famous type of um, boundary like this would be known as the San Andreas Fault out in California. And due to the grinding um, that it has is moving away like this toward each other, it actually creates a lot of earthquakes. So it's not visually appealing on the surface of the earth, but it does create a lot of different types of um, effects, like, and it'll really, really affect us as people on the earth. So hopefully this gives you a good introduction onto how plate tectonics work and how they affect our life on Earth.